Okay, so forgive me. I got a little bit of a cold. But I think that I should be good enough to share kind of some of the new and they call it the enhanced teams collaboration. So this rolled out in preview last month. <clears throat> and so it is available in the. I believe it's in the sales hub, a customer service hub and marketing are the, the three apps that it's currently available for. I haven't tested it with any of the others just to see if it worked, but um, I do know that it works in these in uh, these applications. So what it is is um, that you can now have embedded Teams chats inside of Dynamics, and you can also link specific chats to a Dynamics um, record. So the the kind of use cases are that like let's say hey you're working on this case and you want to have a conversation about with somebody related to this case i mean there's nothing fancy here that i have spun up so there's this button that's up here and it's available <clears throat> and so you can click on this and you can see that hey these are chats that are linked to this case already from teams so if i go over here into my Teams tab, and this is in JT Demo. So I come over here to my chats. I can see that here, this is one of the conversations I have. This has a link to the record in Dynamics. Now that little window won't go away. There we go. So I can come back to my, my bike issues case. I can. I can click on this link chat. Get that on this. I can send that message. I can see that from um, over here, I can see that the message is being sent and then I can have that conversation and then this chat can be linked to this specific case. So that's really cool. Um, so for example, I mean, most of us have like link chats it could be group chats for pre-sales opportunities, clients, projects, whatever it is, even cases. Um, you could have these link chats with those respective individuals, and then you could have people that can come in here and kind of see these link chats as well and participate in them. So some other things that it will it will do um, is that it will give you recommended chats. Like, hey, we think that these chats might be potential candidates to link to this record and so you can do that as well um, as well as just giving you a list of all of your available chats that you can link this to so you can also link a specific channel to the case so a good example of this would be and you can already kind of do this already without the enhanced teams collaboration but you can link the um you know all of our projects have most of our projects have a respective um, Teams channel or or a team, and you can link that directly here. So it kind of just this is just an easier way um, and a nice way that just kind of builds out the full circle of how everything with within Dynamics and Teams can be connected together from a collaboration standpoint. So everything's connected. You can find everything from anywhere, um, and so that's kind of what this this feature is all about. And just to show if I close this, let's go open up my customer. And I believe it's available on most entities. I haven't played around with it too much on custom tables, but I can see that, hey, I could do this from a contact. I can do it from a case. Um, I can do it from an account. From There's also some some of the marketing entities and tables that are available, like marketing email templates, you can have a link chat against them. So um, there's quite a bit of flexibility there. Obviously leads and opportunities. Let's see, do I have any leads or opportunities here? Let's check. Yeah, perfect. I'll link it here. This is how you link a chat. And I think I got Tommy Lee Jones. 
This is a hot lead. And then it pops up here and then everybody's got the link to the lead here. So pretty slick. Any. OK, let's see here. Who's got questions? Steven, you're up first. Um, and, and you may have said this. I admit I was kind of multitasking <clears throat> at the start of this. Um, how do you set this up? Is this a simple thing that you just go toggle on or do you have to install a solution? It is. You don't have to install a solution. It's in app settings. It's under chat and collaboration. Perfect. And really, it's just here. Cool. So you enable it here and then you're ready to rock and roll. Um, so does this require a specific license? I think the only, I think just the enterprise license. So like you have to have the sales hub app in order. I thought it had to be sales. Um, yeah. So I think that you have to have a, a, a license to access the apps. I don't think it's available in all apps or even custom model driven apps. Um, but that'll be something that I can look into. So I would imagine you have to, at the minimum, have a um, preview or enterprise level license. I wouldn't be surprised if it's more of an enterprise level license. So that'll be something for me to look into. I wonder, I wonder how many of these Teams chat pop-ups we can have. If I come here. Hey, look at that. Kind of cool. It's using like the omni channel framework. It looks like it looks very similar to how omni channel stuff does. Um, it doesn't look like it's storing it as an activity in CRM. Like, is this something that you'd see on a timeline and then could see the chats, or do you always have to open the right now? At least it looks like you have to open the, the actual chat, chat pane on the right to see anything. You can't like, I don't see anything in the timeline. Correct. This does not add anything into the timeline. There's no activity records being created for any of this. Okay. That was my question. Thanks. All right. Anybody have any other questions? Does the history persist? And how far back does it persist? Let For these chat. chats? Mm -hmm. Let's do a test. Um, have any of these chats? And that's 322. So all of these are so can you have, I guess you can have multiple linked chats for a single record. Correct. I'm trying to see, I feel like I, you're, I'm able to take an existing chat and say it's a linked chat. <clears throat> Let's see here, bike issues. So now I got two link chats, but it didn't convert my existing chat to a link chat. So. I feel like. Um, I remember seeing that there there is some additional configuration as far as like, how do you know? Um, as far as your. Because I'm not getting like recommendations. So if I go to, well, let's try this. Sorry, I'm a little all over the place. Let's go to a lead. Okay, so that can be recommendations here. So I think there's probably a couple other things that we need to configure in uh, JT Demo. 
because it should give you like recommended channels that you want to link to the chat, not just items that you um, have linked to the chat and or other chats that you're a part of. Because I'd love to be able to just take this chat and link an ongoing conversation to this record. And I'm not seeing that option where I feel like I was seeing that earlier, but maybe not. One other thing to note is that it, it is not setting permissions, right? Like, so if you have a private conversation about this lead and you link it to this record, anybody can see that conversation. So that'll be one talking point. Is that it's not doing any kind of security based on that. It's if you're linking it, everybody's got access to it. Which is also kind of nice. Right? Well, it's like the double edged sword, right? It's simple from a security standpoint, but. Um, it well. It's simple from a security standpoint, we don't have to implement any additional security or even deal with a 365 or team security. Um, it's just kind of all or nothing. All right, any other questions or comments? Is this still only a sales hub thing or can we do other apps? Sales hub, it is in customer service hub and marketing. <clears throat> so I come over here to customer service hub. As you can see, that case was, you know, it's the same case that I have access to in both. And then I can come, ooh, look at that. Oh, there we go. And I could see it over here. And then. What I haven't tried to do is, well, here's a custom app. Does it work in this one? I think it does. Well, I guess that answers that. Works in customer service hub, sales hub, custom app, and then I mean it's available on work orders too. Or in the field service hub. So I'm not sure. I remember reading the documentation that it was specific for only some apps, but we were just able to do it in four or five apps right there. So that's cool. Do you know where the messages are being stored on the back end? Is it within the CRM system or is it in Teams? It's in Teams. Yep, it's still all Teams. It's really just kind of linking a reference to that Teams conversation. So nothing's being stored in CRM directly. Very cool. It is in preview. Um, it feels to be working pretty well. I know that it's probably going to be a big thing that's going to be coming up with customers, right? Because everybody who's always wishes teams and dynamics work more seamlessly together. So this is an option. Um, sometimes it feels like the, the chats take a little bit to load, but it seems to be working pretty well today. So I don't kind of complaints there. Um, I think, and I'm not sure what the roadmap is for when it's out of preview either. So something else to take into consideration. Other than that, that's it for me. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If you